said, um, this has been mentioned a few, or requested a couple times, um, I'm sorry, I, I, I shouted you out in the last video, or, like, in my last attempt at making this video, but I believe it was Darkin, uh, Darkin in the comments who requested this most recently, so, um, shout out to you, Darkin. Um, uh, that's why I'm doing the, uh, lore video today, because I thought this would be fun, so, um, like I said, I, I tried it once before. slacking. It's been uh, almost a week since I uploaded the last video. Um, so if you would not like to get in straight into the lore, you can go ahead and skip um, a couple minutes. I, I think I'm going to ramble here for a second. Um, so if you want to get straight into the lore, feel free to skip around. Um, but I always got to say thank you to everybody before I start. So um, as, I'm, as I'm making this video, uh, we actually just hit 80 subscribers. So yay! so much for 80 um when i when i did this my first time when i was doing the first attempt we weren't even at 80 but a day or two has gone by since then and now we're at 80 subscribers um so we're only 20 away and i did really want to hit 100 before the end of the year so uh, very doable we got about two weeks left of december um so if we can just get what's that 14 days we, we can get like one and a half subs per day Many 
or never return at all. Wow. So that's quite more mysterious than I thought. So that's cool. Um, I'll just go on order, maybe. Maybe I'll be picky and pick certain ones, but we'll go ahead and start with Corky. <coughs> Corky, the daring bombarder. Death from above. Quote from Corky. <laughs> this is a short biography compared to some that I've read before. So. When Heimerdinger and his Yordle colleagues migrated to Piltover, they embraced the science as a way of life, and they immediately made several groundbreaking contributions to the tech sought to conquer it. The brutal warlord Mordecai 
Kaiser and his armies swept across the lands, crushing and enslaving any who opposed his rule. And the mages of the order, unskilled in war, were too little value to his tyrant. Looming over them in his accursed battle blade, his keen eye fell upon Vagar, and Mordekaiser recognized the Yordle for what he truly was. He snatched him up in one iron gauntlet and dragged his prize away as the other mages were put to the sword. Imprisoned in the heart of the warlord's new monolithic fortress, Vagar was forced to turn his magic to darker purposes. Knowing that Yordles were craftier than any of the mortal races, Mordekaiser bound Vagar to the physical plane, preventing him even from escaping to Bandal City. He was not the only captive in that hellish place, but such isolation was the worst and most cruel form of torture for Yordle. Vagar performed grisly enchantments against his will, some strengthening his master's dominion, others simply evoking terror for the terror's sake. Poor Vagar, I didn't know about, I didn't know about all this, so Mordekaiser snatched him up. That's crazy. Indeed, terror was what seemed to fuel his dreadful empire. Miserable beyond imagining, Vagar became a reluctant witness as Mordekaiser's vile deeds empowered him to near immortality. Whether it was over the course of decades or centuries, Vagar never knew, but eventually the Yordle's magic and appearance started to twist in response. Memories of his past faded. Why had he come to Valoran? Where had he come from? Had he known any other life before this? Questions as these weighed on his fragile mind, like the last flickers of light before an eclipse. When the revenant warlord's own follower, own followers conspired against him, the nightmare of his reign was ended. But by this point, Vagar was high, unrecognizable. His eyes blazed; even his voice had become a, a sneer of malice. Fleeing from his encorseled cage, the wretched creature had no interest in the wars of succession that inevitably followed. Deep down, he most likely yearned to regain the sense of safety and freedom that all living things. And yet he chose not to turn away from evil, but to embrace it. Clad in armor befitting it, a sinister warlock, he vowed to seize respect in the only way he could remember, through ruthless villainy. Inspiring fear at all who encountered him. He would call down the fury of the stars themselves upon his foes and trap them in timeless infinities between moments. And yet, Vigor could not quite find the same success as his former captor. Certainly the good people of Valoran did learn to fear him, to some contexts. More often than not, they would find their pastures scorch, or the local baron's man's mansion raised to its foundations. Sometimes, though, inexplicably, bands of brigand, brigands would be driven from their woodland hideouts, or the remains of feral merc wolves found scattered through the town square, and it was difficult to tell whether these acts were malicious or actually reasonably helpful. For all his aspirations of evil doing, it seemed Vagar would always come up a tiny bit short. Oh no. Still, the nefarious Yordle has not abandoned his quest to become the world's most wicked villain. With his diabolic staff in hand, he seeks nothing less to bring out than to bring out bring all before him to their knees and revels in the timely demise of those who dare underestimate him. <laughs> that's that's kinda of funny because a lot of his voice lines in, in the game are in a way about people not taking his taking him seriously. And it seems like it seems like that's kinda of what the lore says as well. Um, you know, it's like they, they learn to fear him, but um you know it, it you couldn't tell if it was uh, you know, like malicious or actually reasonably helpful. And it says he always comes up a tiny bit short and he hates that. One of his voice lines he says it's only a long way. Is that a short joke? <laughs> or something like that. Um, and he always says, I am evil. Stop laughing. <laughs> so he's kind of like that evil villain that everyone's like, oh, okay, buddy. Like, we get it. <laughs> like, relax. Oh, you're so scary. Like, he's one of those. So, that's interesting. 
Okay, so here's so that's the biography and then the story. So, like I said, a lot of champions have this long, you know, they have a whole story. <clears throat> but I won't be reading that, at least not in this video. So let's go back. Um, we'll probably do like one or two more, depending on how long, uh, how long they are. Let's go. says hi. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, this one's this one's got a, a good bit too. All right. Tristana the Yordle Gunner. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I hit my desk by accident. <laughs> like most Yordles, Tristana was always fascinated by the world beyond Vandal City. She traveled far and wide, full of wonder and enthusiasm for the very places, people, and creatures she encountered. Using that only Yordles know. She explored the length and breadth of the material realm, remaining mostly unseen. She witnessed such breathtaking sights as ice trolls migrating across the, the flows of the far north beneath kaleidoscope auras. She marveled as warships blasted each other to pieces in naval battles that churned the seas. She watched, awestruck, as great armies marched with unity and precision, incredibly strange concepts to a yordle across the endless sands to the south. But just on this carefree wandering, rondwing rays changed the day she witnessed the destruction of a band of wood. These places are steeped in the magic of the gateways they grow, grow around, giving yordles a safe haven from the world. Tristana, dozing in the dappled sunshine, was shaken awake. Was shaken awake, as the trees around her began to burn and topple. A war band of armored marauders rampaged through the woodland, with fire and axes, led by a sorcerer wreathed in dark energy. Trist Tristana, hid in horror, the sorcerer focused his power upon the portal at the heart of the Bandlewood, speaking one final utterance. Her still ringing with pain, Tristana watched the gateway collapse, never to be opened again. The ripples of that destruction were felt in the Vandal City itself, causing great despair among the Yordles. Tristana had never experienced anything like the pain of this loss, or the guilt she felt for not acting. Never again would she allow such a terrible thing to happen. In that moment, she dedicated herself to become the guardian of all Vandal Woods and her fellow Yordles. Tristana had often marveled at how mortals protected the things that were dear to them. While she couldn't comprehend their reasons to guard shiny metals or walls of stone, she respected their methods and decided to emulate them. Other yordles watched with curiosity as she took to marching around the borders of Bandle City, stern-faced and matching and watching out for danger. She started calling her food rations and set herself strict times of rest and relaxation. But something was missing in her travels. She had seen many powerful inventions, including the black powder cannons of Bilgewater. Inspired by them, she collected enough precious metal discs to commission a gun suited to her diminutive size. With a wry smile, she named it Boomer. Since then, Tristana has defended the Band of Woods from innumerable threats. In the jungles of the Serpent Isles, she intervened in a clash between the local Peru people and treasure hunters from Valoran that was getting too close to it in Portal. Sending them all running for their lives, she leapt into their midst, boomer roaring, and, and in the burning deserts at the edge of Shurima, she destroyed a void ore after it began consuming a secret Bandlewood oasis, killing it with an explosive bomb down the gullet. Tristana has become something of a legend in Bandle City, and recently a number of yordles have started to imitate her, trying and mostly failing to copy her disciplined ways. Some have even had weapons mimicking Boomer constructed for them by the scrappy inventor Rumble, who is always seeking to win Tristana's approval. While Tristana finds this all the all, all rather embarrassing, she has come to the conclusion that if they are going to defend the pathways to, to Bandle City, they had better do it properly. As such, she 
said something about it but 
um, they were the most recent, so thank you, uh, this one's, this one's for you, um, so shout out to you, thanks for commenting and, and being a part of the videos, um, yeah, so I, I guess that about wraps it up, um, go ahead and like the video, guys, uh, or subscribe, if you're not, please, uh, it, it would be, it means a lot to me, um, comment, or reply to all the comments, so go ahead and comment, and, um, and I will get back to you, um, thank you guys so much, so much, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.